Hi Old School fans, I'm Dan the Old School Conditioning Man, this is Old School Conditioning Training. Welcome to episode 4 of the Boxing Basics. Right, so we've looked at forward and backward movement, we've looked at moving left and right, we've looked at how to throw the basic jab and get the body to turn while we throw it and getting the chin down into the shoulder and turning the hand over, rolling the shoulder up and getting back to our boxing guard without leaning forwards outside of our feet and we've also done the quickly done the same with the cross so what we're going to do now is we're going to put the two punches together okay still no foot forward movement okay that will come in a minute in, in, in the next video okay All right so settle into your stance okay just care, still keeping it slow and smooth okay All right slow is smooth smooth becomes fast Okay, so jab, keeping it in a straight line, and then as you retract the left hand, two, there, okay, screw down hard through the floor, okay, just drop into it an inch, all right, chin down into the shoulder, and then back into your stance, one, two, there, all right, I'll do it from another angle, okay, all right, I'll do it from this angle so you can see a little bit differently, Okay, jab, cross, there, okay, you can see I've turned all the way through it, my chin is down into my shoulder, and then back, all right, one, two, there, all right, I'm screwing down through the ball of my back foot, back, okay, so I'll turn back this way, all right, one, two, there, and back, settle back into your guard, jab, cross, and back. Right, now, we're going to start going a little bit faster, okay? Now, do not lock your arms out when you're doing this because you're not hitting anything, all right? And don't punch too hard because if you start throwing full power punches and full speed punches and locking your elbows out when you're not hitting anything, okay, you're going to get hyperextension injuries in your elbows, okay? Very painful. So just keep your arms slightly off lock, okay? And jab, cross, there. Okay, settle there, and then back, so you learn not to overbalance. Jab, cross, there. Okay, and then back, all right? Jab, cross, keeping the chin and jawline down into the rolled up shoulder on each punch, looking straight down the hand, and then back, okay? Jab, cross, okay, and then back, all right, jab, cross, and back, jab, cross, and back, jab, cross, and back, all right, remember to turn your hips, your foot, your hip, and your shoulder all, 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 all at the same time as you throw the straight punch. One, two. All right, all right slightly overbalanced there, cause, but that will happen from time to time, okay? All right, so, jab, cross, and then back, jab, cross, and back. Jab, cross, and back. Okay, all right. Keep a, a closed fist, all right, but loose, not super tight, because you want your muscles in your arms and your body relaxed. Loose muscles are faster and stronger. If you're trying to tense up all the time, okay, you're going to be slow and it's going to be jagged, all right, and it's going to be easy to see coming. Right, okay, right, so. <laughs> Take it a little bit slower than what we've done here, all right, because I've got a lot to pack in in a series of short videos, okay? So take your time with it, okay? All right, don't be in a rush, get it right. Make sure you're not overbalancing. Make sure you're coming back to the stance. Your head's looking the same way as what your front, your punch is going, not looking off in any other direction, okay? You're getting the hip rotation and the shoulder rotation and the rotation of the foot on the side that you're punching on, okay? So you're getting maximum transmission of your body weight down that punching line and energy into the target, okay? Right, in the next video, we're gonna have a look at the jab again, but with this time, but with stepping onto the jab, okay? All right, so 
Catch you later, guys. I'll see you in the next video.